Good evening, folks. Welcome to Aquatic Ecology uh, here at Mates. My name is Dave Werner. Uh, this is my 17th year here at Mates, and I'm actually a former graduate of the program before it was actually the Marine Academy of Technology and Environmental Science. It was a shared time program taught by actually Dr. John Wenick. He was my professor or teacher in high school, inspired me to, to, to want to teach and to love the environment. So kudos to Dr. Wenick. Um, and he's the reason uh, why I'm here right now, which is really cool. So um, I love my job. I love being here. This is such a fantastic learning environment. I know things have been crazy with COVID, but we're all getting through it together. Um, thank goodness that we have the Google Classroom and the Google Cloud and everything is, is online. It's easy. So we're, we're keeping those virtual students uh, as in tune as possible, as, you know, part of the team, part of the group, trying to get them um, involved which is really good um, i do love the sophomores because i told them this the first day they are not freshmen anymore they are uh you know they have a little more common sense and they're not as shy and they're not quite upperclassmen yet so they're not really you know as confident as as and as the seniors and even the juniors so it's 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 really fun um, they turn their cameras on which is fantastic i absolutely love it the seniors would not turn their cameras on when they were on Zoom. So um, it made things a little bit more difficult, a little more awkward. Um, so this course is all about fresh water. Um, they learned all about Barnegat Bay uh, last year in bio. Now we're getting uh, to the sources of that bay water. Because again, an estuary is where fresh and salt water meet. So basically this course is designed to give them as much exposure as possible to the fresh water world and to understand it, as, even as much as their drinking water, the water in their home. They're going to be coming to you this week asking for the water bill, asking you to help them figure out how much it costs per gallon of water, because I think that's really important to understand and, and how good our tap water is. Um, so it's, it's just a lot of fun. They're going to really learn a whole lot about their environment, uh, where they live and, and where we're going to study. It is a field-based course. We do have our outdoor classroom, which is actually the retention basin right down the road on Cedar Bridge, uh, Cedar Bridge Road, and it's the retention basin that's for Southern Regional, and it's just a fantastic ecosystem to study. We can walk there. It's about a half a mile each way. Those that are fully virtual, we can tap in on the phone, and we can get them as part of our uh, field trip. They will have a couple of, um, oh, for field, I don't want to forget. They do have, um, they could repurpose their field journal from last year in bio. If they had me, they had these composition books. Mr. Kelsey maybe had something different, but they can clip off their pages and then reuse it. Because again, it's reduce, reuse, recycle. I like to, obviously, if there's a lot of paper left, we're going to reuse uh, these books. So they can repurpose that. Um, we do have a field manual. You can see how terribly designed they are. So I asked them to put some sort of cover or binding, paper cover, something on them. They do have those in their possession. They need to take care of them and not leave them exposed because they fall apart. It's really terrible design. The other book they have is Limnology. That is a small textbook that they'll have required readings in there that will go along with some of the notes and PowerPoint slides and uh, Google Slides that we use for the class. Um, everything is on Google Classroom. You know, if you want me to invite you, you can send me an email and I'll put your email on there as an invite. That's up to you and you can see what's happening in the class. Um, as we get more into field and hands-on stuff, we have a 400-gallon fish farm in the back. We have other smaller tank systems that we're going to set up. The students are going to be collecting, identifying specimens, doing a lot of hands-on stuff, a lot of cool stuff. Um, like my bio class, everything is points-based, so I will keep updating the portal, and you'll see point values. Obviously, projects are going to be higher points than, than homework assignments and smaller assignments, so it's all point-based. Um, I just ask them to communicate, and the softwares are great at that in terms of letting me know if they need something, need extra time. I'm pretty flexible, and I know things are crazy right now with what we're dealing with, being in and out of the classroom and the school. So I always ask them just to communicate, you know, advocate for themselves so that we can have the best uh, learning environment possible. Um, in terms of field, I do have field boots that they can actually utilize as part of the course. They can use them on field days, or they can bring their own in. Um, I'll even allow them now that we're not in every day. They can uh, actually leave them in the classroom if they really wanted to, um, as long as they're labeled. Um, and yeah, we have all the field equipment. We have waders. We have all that really cool stuff that we'll utilize um, for the class. The I can't say is there any questions, but um, they do have Chromebooks now, which is awesome. So anytime we do like a Google quiz or something, they can uh, they can use the, the Chromebooks or any type of work. Um, we do have laptops in the room as well if they do forget their Chromebook, so we have backups there. The 
I guess I guess that's about it. I mean, uh, I, you know, um, my field, my my background. I am a graduate of Stockton. It was a Richard Stockton College of New Jersey, and I also got my uh, master's through Stockton University, and um, in marine science and uh, secondary science education. So. It's been fun being here at Mates. I encourage you to ask questions. If you need to email me, it's dwerner at mail.ocbts.org. Feel free to reach out um, if you have any questions or comments. Um, so with that, I'll leave you to it. Have a great night and hope to see most of you in person at some point soon.